Hey, what's up, y'all? Slick here, and we're in the kitchen, and I am gonna cook fish tacos real quick. You hear noise in the background because it's, it's duck season so we're watching dr duck anyway what i have here is some cobia that we caught i don't know maybe a month ago not quite a month ago i'm going to use it the reason i want to use cobia is because it has a more of a firm texture so it doesn't fall apart in your tacos um, a lot of people use like spanish mackerel or cereal mackerel sometimes king mackerel um, snapper we use a lot of snapper or sea bass to make tacos with but i'm going to try cobia i've never done it with cobia just because it's so firm and it'll hold together better so i think it'll be good so to start off with, we have cobia, it's pretty fresh. I have a mason jar of bacon grease because that's what I sear all my fish in. Um, I already have Mexican rice that I've already, it's simmering right now, I started cooking it earlier. It's the early part of the recipe, it's just a side dish. Um, some taco seasoning, and come over here, queso fresca, this is fresh. Um, crumble cheese, cilantro, tomatoes, jalapeno pepper, avocado, mango, red onion, two lives, head of cabbage, and some sour cream. So first what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my slaw ready. And how I do this is I'm gonna cut that right out. I don't need that. This is how I shred my cabbage. Cherry tomatoes, I use these just because they're easier to slice up and keep together, easier than aromas. That's about all we're gonna use of those. so I dice it up small. You can dice yours up bigger if you want to, but like I said, I don't like onions. Um, we use red onions because they have, it's a stronger flavor. I like the flavor of onions. I don't like it to be overwhelming. But also as far as presentation goes, 
it gives you a better aesthetic appearance for your salsa. So I will squeeze this right over top of this slaw. One whole lime. that in there. Now I need cilantro. We'll take about half this stalk of cilantro. Take these stems away. I don't need these. I want those leaves though. I'm gonna mess this up really small. Now you're looking hungry, ribs are touching, need some food. Now you're all on live acting surprised, but you was fooled. Boy, get out the way, it's been a day, now you're old news. Now you got the pen and pad, you're trying to take my moves. Nowadays, nothing really is ice me. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's ice. I got wife, you on blingin' she ice. Freeze, photo, photo, please. please. No photo. I don't like real salty stuff. Maybe that's just me. So now, this is sour cream, as you can see. I'm gonna give just a little bit of lime juice to the sour cream. It's left over out of these limes, or this lime that I cut for the salsa. And I'm gonna put some cilantro in there. About that much. So like I said, when you cut this up, I'm gonna open up these leaves. So lime juice, cilantro, and your sour cream. Now this is, we've always done this. Let me make those tacos. This will be the topping. For your topping. And some people put pepper in theirs. Let's see. Cut the avocado. Now this is for my wife as well. In case you don't know how to clean an avocado, this is how you do it. Oops. There. Cut it long ways. Almost killing me. Imagine doing it for yourself. No help, that shit sucks. There we go. Avocado. This is the code. Now I have already sliced it right down the center, just like that. 
it's a back strap is what we pretty much call it. So now what I'm gonna do is get this frying pan going on about a medium high. This is bacon grease. We always save our bacon grease. because you want the seasoning to stick to it. Probably isn't the healthiest way to eat fish. By frying it in bacon grease, but I fry it in bacon grease every time. That's how I sear it. So this is the taco seasoning that was in my cabinet. Usually I use the Hispanic stuff, but the stuff that I use is this stuff, tajin. But this is the lime flavor stuff and it's way too light. And with that salsa that we made, we don't need that much lime. So I'll so put taco seasoning on and you want to give a generous amount. Tuscan herb oil. We get it from a place in Beaufort, North Carolina. I put just a little bit in there. Beaufort Olive Oil Company. It's in downtown Beaufort, North Carolina. They're on Facebook. I think they're on Instagram. But that's where we get all our stuff from. quite hot enough yet. It's not searing. I mean, it's sizzling. I'll turn it up just a little bit. It's too hot to touch. It just ain't sizzling yet. Okay, let me go ahead and get this cleaned up. Very important when you're searing fish, not to prematurely remove it from the heat. But you also have to keep in mind as you're searing fish, fish cooks very fast. So it's like two minutes on each side at the most. And uh, it should be good. But when I'm eating tacos, or any fish for that matter, I really want it seared like I want it like a crispy, Almost like a skin. I'm gonna go ahead and put this over. See that right there is right. I mean, I probably could have gone for another 30 seconds or so. This Kobe is very firm, which I'm super happy with. Shout out to my boy, Ken, East Coast Waterfowl. Keeping my uh, Kool-Aid cold.
Go follow them at uh, East Coast Waterfowl on Instagram and Facebook. Check them out. Pick up a hat. They make some awesome lids. Check out Real Addicts too. That's their sister company to their fishing stuff. This is the rice. Sheesh. The secret with rice is put everything in your pot. And you want to mix rice uh, like two to one, like two cups of water, one cup of rice. You put tomatoes in there, um, green peppers, some seasoning. I like a doya or a or whatever it's called. Just put everything in the pot and then bring your water to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, stir it one time, put the lid on it, put it on as low as the setting as it'll go, and don't touch it for 20 minutes. Whereas, like grits, you're cooking grits. Grits are four to one, so it's gonna be four cups of water to one cup of grits. And you wanna bring the water to a boil first before you put the grits in. The rice, you're gonna put everything in there first, bring it to a boil, stir it, let it sit. Grits, you wanna bring the water to a boil, put the grits in. And then, uh, Keep those mixed up the entire time you can't stop mixing them. But I bring grits into the equation just because I put a lot of grits over seafood. So. Homemade tortillas. I just pressed these today. I'm just kidding. I'm press them. Although I do have a tortilla press that a very good friend of mine brought me from Mexico. It's very nice of him. What I'm gonna do is stick these on here. Um, a lot of people do it in the frying pan, which is cool. Whatever. All I'm gonna do is stick this in the oven on broil. Turn your light on and watch it. Now that this is warm, I can stick it right on this warm eye. And it will keep the tortillas warm. Turn this right over here. Am I the only one that has sausage on the counter? See, if, if you ain't got sausage on the counter, you ain't country. Get out of my face. Well, that real country folks keep sausage or either sausage or bacon or fat back, something always on the counter. My granddaddy did that. And I'm trying to keep that, that going. Here. 
Got our rice right in the channel. Spoon right in the channel. That's it. Fish tacos. Yeah. You finna eat. I'm about to eat now. He just said he won't eat nothing deer meat. It ain't deer. It ain't deer meat, it's cobia. Oh. oh. Yeah, I saw it. I know, it's good. I'm about to eat dinner. Oh my God. Best one I've ever made right here. Love you. Stay safe. Yes. All right. Bye. Because I make good fish tacos. Very good fish tacos. Please. But I these, whoo, I don't know why it's different. Mm. It's just different, ain't it? Okay. God, this is good. Sorry for my terrible video qualities. Jaden's doing the best he can. <laughs> Recording me. I'm starving to death. Dude, this is fantastic, bro. I think I put too much what's it called? Mm -mm. Cream. You didn't. Mm -mm. You didn't. Maybe it's the mango. Maybe because I don't like mango in my salsa. But in my slaw, I've never put it in a slaw. Man, I'll see my beautiful wife. This is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it very good? This is very good. It's very good. JJ. Yes, sir. Pull your dang pants up, son. <laughs> Mm. I said his belt's loose. This is good. This is this is killer. Good lord. Mm. East Coast keeping my Pepsi cold. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. I know it's rude to talk with food in my mouth, but. I gotta eat. This is good. Thank you for running the camera, JJ. Mm -hmm. Thank you for keeping the dogs put up, Mama. <laughs> See this? I got visitors. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. I got more videos coming. Make sure you subscribe. I already said that. Hit the bell. That way you know when I do drop a new video, you'll get the alert. And you can click on it right then and watch it. Like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one.